everyone, this is Christine with Coco Daisy and I wanted to do a flip through of my May Simple Dory. So this is using the Coco Daisy Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, which comes with the Simple Dory booklet. And then it also comes with um, just a bunch of different embellishments, pattern papers, there's some alpha stickers in here, there's a stamp set. So a bunch of different things that you would use in your traveler's notebook for your memory keeping. And this month was a crazy busy month, but I didn't want to, to not record these. So what I did is I came up with kind of a, um, an approach where each page, each layout was going to be very similar and then just kind of assembly lined everything. And it went really fast. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, so I was still able to be creative. I was still able to get all of the memories recorded, but this month it was just in a, in a real fast kind of, um, like I said, assembly line kind of way. What I did is I wanted to stick to mostly just a full page picture and then add my journaling off of my computer in a journaling box. I went through a couple of different configurations of how I wanted that box to kind of be set up, and I ended up with this format. So it has kind of um, the title, and then I would add the subtitle here, the journaling, and then I just have to go back through and use a date stamp on the side. So I was pretty happy with how that turned out. It's super simple. I was able to do a full page photo. I was able to sit down in, in one time and just type up all my journaling, print them out, cut them out, and then put them in. So like I said, it made it really easy. The Simple Dory is conducive to, to uh, faster memory keeping, but this was kind of like faster, even faster. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna just kind of flip through and show you what I did and how I set that up. Um, so you'll see different um, types of alphas that I used for my titles. And then I usually just added a few little embellishments and then I liked to add one or two things over here on the photo. So you can see on this one, I stamped the request denied on the little label, a couple of the little uh, enamel dots. And then here's an example where the picture is large, but it really wouldn't fit the whole page, which was fine. I just have some white space on the top and bottom, added a die cut, one of the uh, stickers from the um, memory keeping sticker kit and then I just stamped a small stamp in there and then again added the the little title another example again it's all very similar but it went together really really quick some stickers and then there's a couple pages in here that I had had more time to work on so you're gonna see that they're a little more detailed and there's a little bit more to them these were actually um, a couple of the uh, example layouts that I did in the uh, instruction sheet that comes in the kit. So in the instruction sheet in the kit, I lay out a couple of layouts and give you step-by-step step step instructions on how to do those. And the kit came with these pretty die-cut leaves. They're so pretty, so I added those on there. It's a little bit of stitching and some of the, uh, the washi tape. And then we go back to kind of that format. This time I stamped the title in there. There's a piece of chipboard. And a while back I did a quick little video showing you that the chipboard, uh, this chipboard is from the pocket memory keeping kit. And you don't, you can use chipboard in your traveler's notebook and you can reduce the bulk. All you have to do is take a, um, an X-Acto knife or a craft knife and just carefully peel off some of those extra layers and it will make that a lot less bulky. Uh, sticker from the uh, memory keeping sticker kit and a few of um, little word stickers and here's another one of those little vellum pieces some of the patterned paper and then again this is another one of those layouts that's in the instruction sheet you can see I used a lot of the uh, the little vellum pieces I thought they were so pretty they're kind of a subtle layer they give some nice texture And then this was actually from the sketch that was included in the instruction sheet. So I was able to fit eight photographs on here in real simple way of doing that is then to number them 
and then your journaling can just correspond to those numbers. So that makes it a very quick, easy layout to do. And then this is one of my boys and I on Mother's Day. This deviates a little bit from this kind of canned layout that I was using. Uh, the only, I still have this, so it still kept it simple, just larger photo spanning across both pages. And I just made that journaling block just a little smaller. And then again, we go back to, and one of the tricks that I do if I have a month where I don't use all of the pages, rather than have empty pages in my book, I'll just literally glue them together back to back. So then when you're flipping through, you don't realize that there was pages that you didn't use. So that's another little trick. There's a um, foam uh, title that was from the April kit. So you can see I mixed things in a little bit. This one was super simple because on this page it already had this title. So all I did was add a couple die cuts to the full photograph. And then there's the end and that's it. So super easy to do. So if you have a month where you're behind, you still have photographs, you still have memories that you want to put down in your simple, in your simple dory or in your traveler's notebook, just create a canned um, journaling block and a canned layout that is the same and just, and just go ahead and scrapbook those memories that way.